Now that I've kind of jumped back and forth between the character panel and the paragraph panel, I want to focus a little more on paragraph formatting. So I'm going to go to File and Open. In Chapter 5, Folder 3, I'm going to open up Paragraph Adjustments. And we have just this one block of a text frame here. So I'm going to pull the bottom edge way down. And all of this text is justified. It goes from the very far left of the column to the far right. Okay, what I want to do is make sure when I am editing text, I don't want my type to be hyphenated. So you need to be aware that on your paragraph panel, there is a hyphenate button. It's always hidden in the lower left corner. So if I take my type tool and highlight all this text, I can say hyphenate my text, but then that's gonna look stupid. Okay, so when I zoom in right here, Alexa, as well as a recent pick, chur to generations, says Shan Non. You know, that looks stupid. Collect is a word. Now it's splitting it to collect ing or prima chur. So I am not a big fan of hyphenated words. So just be aware that hyphenation, you click and drag for what you want to edit. It's on your paragraph panel in the bottom left corner. So be aware of that. The other thing too is when you do text like this, all your text is going to run into each other. So I would help by designing your pages to chunk out your text, separate it into blocks. Okay. I already have space between the first paragraph and the title. So what I'm going to do is start on the second paragraph and highlight these last four paragraphs. Then on my paragraph panel, I have an indent if I want to. I don't want to indent each line, but I do want to add space between my paragraphs. So right there, usually that pops up if I can get that to pop up, but it doesn't. So, okay. These little icons tell a story. So I can hit the up arrow and just kind of push those paragraphs apart. It makes it a lot easier for the reader to see it in chunks of information like that. Okay. Like I said, I don't want drop caps on every paragraph. Maybe I could do it on the first paragraph that's kind of starting off our page and I'll hit the up arrow. Maybe three lines like that. Okay, that looks kind of cool. Um, you can do space before each paragraph, space after each paragraph. And, you know, why would I want to do that? Not for the designer, but to make it easier for my audience, the reader. Okay, if I wanted to push this even more, I could highlight these and do a little indent. Maybe push it over three little clicks so I can see that each paragraph starts with a little indent. I'm not a big fan of those either, so I'll take those back out. But you have that ability. The thing that I would do with um, justified text, so you get it to go all the way across, is you want to stop at the fourth button. Okay, again, there's left aligned text, centered text, right aligned text, and justified. I wouldn't go any further than that. Notice how this paragraph, the, you have one word at the end, or in this paragraph, you just have three words. So if I click centered, those three words are gonna get centered like that, making it kind of odd to read, and this word just kind of floats there. You know, how can you not get involved? It's such a great cause, it, it, it's hard to read. Okay, so I'll highlight this. You don't want to go past the fourth. This one pushes the last lines to the right, and this is the worst. Okay, that will start to push your lines, and then if they're too short, it starts to add space between the words. Sometimes they're more tightly spaced. Sometimes they're a little spaced apart. So I really kind of keep it on the fourth if I can justify right there and that just makes it easier for the viewer to read 
okay I can highlight this text right here I can go to type let's see if I can do anything like this um, I have too many choices here Ugh, I don't want to look at that uh, let's keep it over here on my character panel so I can just increase the size maybe make that Helvetica bold oblique but again, if I go too big, boom, 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 now it starts to cut that off. So you want to watch out how you edit your text. But you have paragraph formatting. The main idea is if you don't see the paragraph panel, you can go to Window Menu, Type and Tables, and get your paragraph or Command Option T. I would just recommend putting your paragraph panel with your character panel so you have them both ready to go. There we go, paragraph editing in InDesign.